Hi guys, <coughs> so the past few days I've been busy with uh, a box event that I showed you guys and also um, I've been playing around with a few beatbox beat uh, that was why I, I was pretty convinced to give it a shot and invested some of my cash into the platform uh, I'm pretty excited to see what kind of results I'll be getting what kind of returns so the purpose of today's video is actually to share with you guys uh, some of the sales advices that I some of sales advice that I gave my friend so just to fill in some background he's actually an intern in a crypto company so a local Singapore crypto company his job his primary job is to sell those coins and in return he'll get a 15 15% commission out of it so just knowing that it's only 15% he's pretty reluctant to you know go out and sell it so that, that being said he has not sold any yet he's reluctant to do it because of the 15% cut and currently he's asking me uh, should I negotiate my boss uh, what do you think is it a fair system fair scheme so this is uh, this was exactly my response and advice to him so I said first off you have not acted on it you have not sold any so do you know whether it's easy to sell or is it tough as hell to sell he was like, I don't know. Okay, next question. Do you think 15% is a fair cut? I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I was like, okay, so what is fair? He was at least 30 to 50%. I was like, okay, fair enough, maybe. Mm. So I was like, let me share with you, okay? The first, most important thing you have to do is to just take one month of your time. Suck it up, 15% cut, just take it accept it really the first month is for you to experiment how easy or how hard is it to sell the product if it's really difficult there's two options either you quit or you renegotiate immediately hoping that the higher payout scheme or better payout scheme can motivate you to sell better but if it's easy you can gradually increase or negotiate with your your boss but that's if you can produce results lah, of course so the second thing I taught him was that <clears throat> value adding so ultimately if you add value to any company any organization then you have bargaining power so without even acting on anything what kind of bargaining power do you have to negotiate your boss that was my question to him you know so assuming you are fantastic the first month you hit 10,000 sales and you only get 15% cut that means he made 8,500 agree and that is profit for him so assuming you vanished you know that the next month you just vanished you don't want to work anymore what does it mean there is no more sales for him so if you were to renegotiate him saying that hey boss the next month definitely there's another 10,000 but in return can I get 20 percent he would definitely smile and say yes because you perform well this is what it is once you create value and you brainstorm win-win solutions naturally your boss will agree the duty okay of coming up with creative ways to increase your own payout your own salary is on yourself it's on yourself really it's not the company's job to increase your salary it's not your employer not your manager not your supervisor's duty to increase your wages it's your responsibility to renegotiate if you want a higher payout explain why that's it simple <coughs> your average sales is 10k you challenge the boss say that hey, i'm gonna make 30k for you and in return i want from 15 percent increase 30 percent so if 30k is an impossible amount your boss will be more likely to agree right because it's impossible yeah let's do it let's do it and tada you managed to do so see that see that so that was something that i actually did it that's why i can share with you such example right so lastly okay um this is very important so i ended off with something very practical for him i said just try it out and this could be a scheme that you can implement for a start okay use your first month's salary for our first month's commission or sales total sales and you use that as a bench benchmark so assuming if you hit that sales for the next month you're gonna get 15 percent and anything above it increase accordingly 
it's gonna be maybe if you sell 2k and 15 percent 3k is gonna be 20 percent 4k is gonna be 25 percent so and so forth so that was something that he you know he kept in mind and he could implement it on the second month or third month or so but ultimately it boils down to adding value and thinking from the business point of view ready ready so if you, you before coming up with funny suggestions or funny implementations take a step back and you think if you were the business owner would you agree to that if yes it, it, you know it makes things better for me by having more sales uh, overall uh, overall more sales even though I give him more com or it, it make things faster it make things easier it make things better I will definitely agree as the owner so you must think what is a win-win solution for such cases so I hope you guys uh, those that's doing sales or those that new to the sales industry and you're 